Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're quickly going to look at how to calculate the present value of a lump sum or the present value of a single amount. This is when you're given the future value and you're asked to calculate what the present value is. So we're going to look at how to do so using the formula. So what is the present value? Well, this is the calculation of the value today of an amount you will have in the future. At a specific interest rate which you will be given, you will be able to calculate what it is worth today. So you may be given a future value, and you may be asked to determine what the present value is. So it's pretty simple once you have the formula. In our previous lesson, we also looked at how to calculate the future value of a lump sum and other lessons related to time value of money using the formula. So you'll find the links to all those lessons in the description below. Otherwise, let's get into it. Here it is present value or PV equals to FV divided by 1 plus R to the power of N. And what do these letters stand for? Well, PV is obviously the present value which we are trying to calculate. FV is the future value. R is the interest rate. Now it may be written as R or I. So I or R stand for the interest rate. So your formula might have the letter I instead of R. So it's the same thing. And N stands for the number of compounding periods. And it's important to note that I didn't mention, I didn't say number of years. N stands for the number of compounding periods. Why? Because the number of compounding periods may be different from the number of years. And you should be able to understand that thoroughly. And you'll see just now as we go through the example that we're about to look at. But look at this note right here. It should be very clear to you and you should take note of it if you are going to use the formula to calculate any time value of money. Question. If there is more than one compounding per year, you divide the interest rate by the number of compoundings per year to get R. And you multiply the number of years by the number of compoundings per year to get N. Very important for you to know that. And you'll see how we'll apply it now with uh, one example of one question. So you can see from this note here, what we are saying is that the number of compoundings will affect your R and will also affect your N. So you'll take R divided by the number of compoundings per year and with N, you will multiply. You take the number of years times the number of compoundings per year. And that is what I meant when I, so when I mentioned this note here. So let's take a look at a few examples over here. First example says that John wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years in order to buy a filming camera. He wants to invest in an account that earns 8% interest compounded annually. How much should he invest today in order to achieve this goal? Now, First thing to note here is the compounding. We are told here that it's compounded annually. So if it's compounded annually, it's once per year. So we don't have to take into account what we mentioned in that note that we mentioned in the previous slide. You only take it into account if there's more than one compounding per year. Okay, and you'll see that in the second example. So let's take a look at the formula again. Present value equals to the future value. And do we have the future value? Yes, we are given. We are told that John wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. So that's the future value. That's what he wants to have in the future in 10 years time. So that 120,000 rand is the future value. And then you divide it by 1 plus R. What is R? R is 8%. Remember, you don't divide it by anything because it's compounded annually so if you are going to divide it you essentially be dividing it by one because it's only compounded once so it won't change what the interest rate is so you're going to put here 0 0.08 so it's good to put it in decimal form if you want to get it in decimal form it's 8 divided by 100 you get 0 0.08 and then to the power of n what is n n is the number of years in this case because it's only compounded once or compounded annually so it's going to be 10 10 years that's your n so let's see how it looks 120,000 rand future value divided by 1 plus 0 0.08, which is the interest rate of 8%, to the power of 10 years. And what does the answer, what is the answer? 55,583 rand 22 cents. That is how much he needs to invest today if he wants to have 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years at an interest rate of 8% per annum compounded annually. Okay. 
8% compounded annually. So that is what it means. And remember, your present value will always be less than your future value. So if you're doing the calculation and you make a mistake somewhere, it will be easy for you to notice that you've made a mistake if your, if your present value is going to be higher than your future value. Because of the interest that you'll be earning, your present value will certainly be less than the future value. So always take note of that. Let's look at the second example quickly. John wants to buy a car in two years time. He wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed account offering 11% per annum compounded monthly in order for him to buy a car worth 200,000 rand. So what you can see here is that this person wants to buy a car worth 200,000 rand in two years time. And he wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed deposit account. So he wants to know what, how much he should put into that account now for it to grow to become 200,000 rand in two years time. And we're told that it's offering 11% per annum compounded monthly. So you can see here it's compounded more than once a year. It's compounded actually 12 times a year because it's monthly and we have 12 months in a year. So let's take a look at our formula again. Present value will equal, because he wants to know how much he should put in now. So that's the present value equals future value. Well, what is the future value? Well, he wants to buy a car worth 200,000 rand in two years time. So that's the future value, 200,000 divided by one plus R. What is R? Well, try and guess it. R is the 11% divided by 12. Remember, we divide the interest rate by the number of compounding per year. It's compounded monthly, so that's 12 months in one year. So it's 0 0.11 divided by 12 months, okay? The 0 0.11 is the same as 11% because it's 11 divided by 100. So we put here 0 0.11 divided by 12 months. And then to the power of N, what is N? N is we have two years, and remember it's compounded monthly, so it's two times 12. So like I said earlier on, with the N, you multiply, with the R, you divide. So with the N, it's going to be 2 times 12. So let's take a look how it will look. 200,000 rand future value divided by 1 plus 0 0.11 divided by 12 to the power of 2 years times 12 compoundings per year. And that will give us the present value, which is 160,664 rand 70 cents. And that is what the present value is. Now, remember I mentioned that your present value has to be less than your future value. And it is, it's less than the future value of 200,000 rand. And you can see how we apply compounding in our calculations with regard to the formula. I hope this lesson has made sense. I hope you have learned and gained value from it. And if you have, please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.